Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, if you want to be on camera ready, you're going to want to watch this episode because you're going to meet a media and messaging expert next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, you can tell from my background, I am passionate about people telling their own story, whether that be through podcasting or the traditional media. And I think I just met my sister from another mister. <laughs> she is Elizabeth Walker. She's an on-camera coach, media and messaging expert. Thanks for coming on the yeah. show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, I want people to know more about your background. I know you, you spent 20 years uh, as a network television producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so absolutely. So uh, I was born to be a producer <laughs> in behind the scenes. And the fact that I'm actually on camera and teaching this now, I would never have guessed, never have guessed. But really at the prime, I was doing um, primetime shows for HGTV, multiple episodes, and uh, loved every minute of it. Just, you know, loved every minute of it. But early on in my career, when I'm like, you know, 20 something, they put me on camera. Yeah. Yeah, but my training's behind the camera. And so much of that, uh, the prepping the guest for the national television show is, okay, you know, we only have a certain amount of time and you gotta be on, on point. Yeah. Talk about that journey. Yeah, so, you know, what amazed me was I worked with a lot of new people, okay? And it was like, you need patience and a lot of uh, love and coddling and good mindset. But when I got to uh, really talk to the paid talent, they need coaching too. So for the average person, the average podcaster, the average YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, like, it's okay, right? We all need coaching on camera because we weren't born to do this. Sure. Yeah. And she has a very successful coaching company. We're going to pull up her website. And as we scroll down the website, I want you, Elizabeth, to describe the perfect client. Who do you love to work with? Yeah. So they're women entrepreneur with a big vision. Like they're out to change lives through their business. And um, they struggle to be seen. They struggle to know what to say and how to say it. And they are really intimidated by this whole technology piece. Like how can I easily get on social media and do these quick clips and grow my audience. And so that person wants to reach, like they wanna to get to the Today Show, right? They need that PR like you do, but there's no content for them to look at. Yes. Yeah. And you were actually in town uh, to give a talk. Yeah. Yeah, so I did a talk at the E-Women Network, love them, and it was lights, camera, and power. And really, there's a lot of people who weren't born with the internet. And they are looking like, wait, I gotta do this what on my phone? And so I gave a talk around that. Outstanding. Yeah. Uh, we went on Elizabeth's website. She created this amazing video. Let's go ahead and roll that now. I know you're a high achieving woman with your own business and you've been trying to market yourself online. And how's that going? Yes, you're on social. You might even be on stages and people really love your work, you know that. And you're thinking in the back of your mind, it might be kinda nice to be on bigger platforms. Maybe you've thought about media opportunities, but you're thinking, how the heck do I get those? And of course, you can dive in and try it yourself, but I know you don't wanna look foolish. I get it. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Walker, and I'm an on-camera coach and media and messaging expert. And early on in my 20 year career as a television producer, they shoved me on camera and I wanted no part of it. So I get where you're at. Now, when I got to the network level, thank goodness no one put me on camera because I was in my favorite lane, really leading prime time series to a global audience behind the scenes. But then I became an entrepreneur and I learned in order to grow my business, I had to be visible. So I learned how to 
authentically be on camera without a script, just like here. And what that led into was coaching hundreds to get to a 10K month, to get their messaging to land right, and to learn video marketing strategies. And what I noticed, women were truly resistant to the two powerful strategies that really created visibility, going live and creating your YouTube channel. Like what, a YouTube channel? I can't have that. Yes, you can. Did you know 80% of consumers would rather watch a live video from a brand than read a social post or a blog? And did you know that YouTube is the second largest search engine? They're owned by Google. So when you work with me, we're gonna get you polished on camera, promise. And we're gonna get you prepped for those interviews. We're gonna fine tune your message and your content. And we're gonna create your weekly show so that you can finally be seen as a leader in your industry. What if you could be comfortable on screen? You can create engaging content that extends that reach and be seen by the media and others as the expert. If you're ready to telecast your talents, then grab my gift below and let's get started because I want more of your light through the lens and into this world to change lives. Okay, what's, give me your favorite client story of a client that you worked with. Well, I love this. Um, this woman, she already had 100 media appearances and she calls me up and she knew, knew me from maybe 20 years ago. And she goes, I hear you kind of doing this broadcast thing with entrepreneurs. And she goes, I want to get better. I really want to get better on camera. And I said, okay, let's do this. And she goes, I want my own show. And I said, okay, but you're not niched. You don't, you know, you're just general right now. And so we started a YouTube show. Wow. You know, and she had 300 people on her YouTube channel. And by the seventh, eighth episode, there's 10,000 views, you know, and, and that she's like, amen, like that. I want more of that. And so I just got her an agent. Yes. Yeah. And let's talk about uh, everybody's trying to tell their story, you know, through different platforms. I see so many people are trying to do on camera uh, messaging, but they're at home, they're doing it on an iPhone, they're in a very echoey room with no lighting. So uh, talk about you know the professionalism that is required to tell the right story. Right, uh, yeah, so here's the piece. When you're, you won't be credible, right? If the background isn't right, if the sound isn't right, if the lighting isn't right, you know this world. Like we, today in society, we just judge so quickly, we scroll so quickly. So when that background and lighting and framing and headroom is not where it needs to be, you just, it's hard to, great, um, it's hard to gain traction. Absolutely. Yeah. And let's talk about the messaging piece because many people say, okay, what is my message and, and what kind of content should I be creating? Yeah. So if you're meeting with a client for the first time and they're saying, I don't even know what my brand is, what, what process do you take them through? I love that question. Yeah. So it's really, okay, who are you? Okay. Who are you as a person? Who are you as an entrepreneur? And what is this message you want to convey? And usually it's pretty generic and it's like, oh, I want to help all these people and I want to heal the world. And then I got to rein them in. Yes. Who are you talking to? Who do you want to help? What is the problem that you solve? And how do you help? Yes. And, and talking in sound bites is important. I've run into a lot of people who they have all this knowledge, but maybe they have too much knowledge. They don't know how to condense it. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing is, you know, first upping your energy, right? You know, like the camera just takes this energy. And so we just got to up that energy, but also know it's a complete thought. A soundbite is a complete thought. And I wasn't trained in this. I had to hear myself interviewing people over and over at HGTV and running the whole show for me to understand, oh, my thought is done and close that thought. Yes. Yeah. Now I noticed that you kind of specialize in women entrepreneurs. Why did you choose that niche? Um, so us women, we have a little bit of um, self-consciousness around our looks. It's just a little bit more than men. Men are like, comb the hair, do a little powder, I'm good. But women, we have this um, rolling voice in our head that just says, oh no, you gotta, you gotta look like you know, Katie Couric. You gotta look like somebody else besides yourself. And so for me, that I want more women to get beyond that. 
Sure. Yeah. So for the person watching this video for the first time and they're, they're thinking to themselves, I just think I found my coat. <laughs> <laughs> what would the process be if they contacted you through the website? What, what, what happens? Yeah. So, I, you know, obviously we have a conversation and I want to know what you're all about, where are you going, what is the vision? And I really step them through a three, you know, conversion formula of I'm going to polish you up. No perfection. I'm going to polish you up. And then we're going to talk about, you know, video content. I'm going to produce you. And um, so you can do it on your own or you can do it in a studio like this. You've built a huge, beautiful studio. Thank you. Yeah. And then it goes into pitching, right? Because if you're going to pitch, you need regular video content. So that's the process I walk them through of just being not confident, don't know what to say to going, oh, I can host, I can be me and I can produce content. And I think you, you hit on an on a, on a important point about confidence. I remember one time I felt like I had to work out at home just to look good enough to work out in the gym. Um, can you take somebody who's never been on camera before and, and polish them and hone their message? Yeah, absolutely. So obviously breath, right? You need to drop in the heart. You need to talk to your one client. That's, that's it. We're not talking to 8 billion people on the planet. We're not talking to the 3 billion on Facebook. We're talking to our one person we want to help. And so we're having a conversation. Outstanding. Yeah. We're almost out of time. So final thoughts. What would you like to leave people with? Oh, my gosh. Um, the value of these platforms, and I know you know this, Jeff, you know, the value that we can broadcast today out to all of these platforms, even at the same time, that your voice matters and your message matters. And for you to be out and expressing yourself on camera and doing your own shows and your own live streaming and your own podcasting, you don't need an agent anymore. Wow. I truly have found my sister from another <laughs> mister. Uh, that's it for now. We're going to leave you with her website, which is elizabethwalkermedia.com. The great Elizabeth Walker. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.